In this video, I'm going to share with you how to track live chat event in Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. And if you don't know what GTM is or how does it work, then this guide might seem a bit tricky, but in fact, it is really easy to do. And remember, if you want more videos about GTM and live chat, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. But let's get back to our business. How to track live chat events using Google Tag Manager. At first, you have to understand that our live chat software offers multiple events that can be cached. For the purpose of this guide, we will go through the message sent event, which is triggered when a website visitor sent a chat message. But remember, there are other events available. To find them, simply reach out to the description where everything is described. Depending on your marketing goals, your objectives can be different. Take a moment to step back. What is a conversion to you and how do you measure it? Depending on your business, whether you're a SaaS, a retailer, or an e-commerce, your events will have different nature. Now that you are ready to track your live chat events, let's jump to step number one. Here, we are going to build a listener that uses a callback function. In this callback function, we're going to call the data layer. The data layer will help us to create a custom data that we'll have to use at steps three and four. Reach out to Google Tag Manager, click on new, then on tag configuration, and here click on custom HTML. Now that you're here, reach out to this page, which is the specific one we've been creating inside Crisp Help Desk, and copy and paste this code, which is the one that refers to a message has been sent. Copy and paste it. And now that's it you're ready to go at step number two. Now for step number two, we're simply going to create a trigger for the tag we've just created. Here, we need to add gtm.dom or gtm.click, which have both their specific particularities. It's up to you to define how do you want to use them, but I'll give an explanation about them inside the description. So now click on trigger, choose new, Click on here and then look for custom events, which is just there. And now you can add ggm.dom just like this or ggm.click just like this. It's up to you. I'll choose ggm.dom in this example. Then you save, put that name, and there you go. At step three, it's really easy. You simply have to create another custom event and call it crisp interactions. If you don't get where it comes from, simply pause the video and go back to step number one to better understand how it's being created. So to do so, go to triggers, click on new, edit it and look for a custom event. Then call it crisp interactions, save. You can add a name. Don't leave now, it's the last step. For step number four, you'll simply have to link the event that we just created, Crisp Interactions, with a tag, which is the Google Analytics tag that will make it, that will make the data flow from Crisp to Google Analytics. So now that you're ready, click on new, add your trigger, which you just created, and choose the Google Analytics Universal Analytics. Then choose the kind of action you want to track, which is the event one, and then add the information that you're wishing. Don't forget that category and action are mandatory if you're willing to send data to Google Analytics. So for example, category will be chat box and action will be message sent. And that's it. Simply save it and don't forget to publish your container. Once you've been able to go through those four steps, uh, you should be ready to send data to Google Analytics when a message is sent. However, don't forget to publish the workspace and don't forget also to try it while using the preview mode because it can help you to better understand how it works. If you do have any other questions, feel free to get back to us using the chat or by email. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more awesome videos. Thanks.